Hi guys, uh, good morning or good evening to everyone. So this tutorial is about uh, explaining about the job card in JCL. As you know, JCL stands for Job Controlling Language. Let's go ahead and see what is a job card in JCL. Let me go to this first. I would like first we need to create one PDS uh, with name, uh, with your ID and test and JCL lib. So last one should be as a JCL lib. So once you are done with, once you create the uh, PDS, uh, you can see the properties here. It should be like PO or PDS. So then here I can give edit command and I can just simply write the name as job card here and then press enter okay so I will type it as a columns here so that it, you can list a column so now we are starting what is a job card so I would like to insert one line a job card will start with uh, two forward slashes this is called as a uh, null char null pointer or null character or we can say starting of the JCL this is to this occupies a two bytes then followed by a job name uh, job name normally you can it can be in a eight bytes and it start from the th third column and it ends at the tenth column so for example I am giving my ID here as a D then followed by and from 12th on and, and from from the 12th column your job operand will come into the picture and here in this a job card is divided into three three different parts one is the job name opera or one is a job name null uh, then positional parameters and the keyword parameters the job is nothing but a positional parameter so within this job you will be giving your account information the account information is used to for calculating or calculating the bills and uh, it can calculate the CPU time and generate the bill then we have an accounting information sorry programmer name you can give any of the programmer name or any job description you can give here so simply I'm giving it as a PS file here and then these two are called as a positional parameters and then we have uh, another parameters called as a keyword parameters the first one I would like to type here is equal to class A what is a class defines uh, class defines a particular group or I can say particular area where this job is going to be submitted or what kind of job this is so the classes ranges from A to Z and uh, 0 to 9 so there, there will be different classes uh, categorized here so for example class A might be running a daily job or it runs from a particular time to particular time and the class B uh, is related to some print job or class C is related to some transmission from one system to another system or class Z it's uh, it's indicates like this job is getting submitted in the daily time or morning time or evening time so in this way the classes are categorized in a different way and then we have something called as a message class so message class it's about the messages related to a class right so since this is called as a job card the job card after the job card we have three two different statements right uh, we have a exit and a DD statement so whenever you submit this batch JCL so it will be printing it has to print several diagnostic messages so what could be the diagnostic messages the messages can be related to a job messages can be related to an exit statement that I would be discussing in further classes and then at the DD DD level so the various uh, messages that will be produced when you submit this JCL those need to be captured and those need to be sent to different areas so what are the different areas is being classified as message class and uh, so these messages classes need to be printed onto the screen so that's the reason we can give it as message classes so there are these are also categorized from A to Z or uh, 0 to 9 
so based on this we give msh class here and then we have another keyword parameter called as message level so here we can give this as a gcl and the operator uh, here what we can do um, by default it can be a 0 1 2 the first one have 0 1 2 or second one also can have 0 1 2 message well level will explain about uh, where this uh, message is being printed and do I need to print what kind of messages need to be print do I need to print only JES message or exit level message or ED level messages or all messages when I say 1 comma 1 so it will print all messages on to the spool okay, we will see what is a spool and where do we check that one so then for and the next one here uh, it will have only 72 72 columns here so you can write the statements up to 72 but I wanted to break it here and I want to continue after that 12th column from here and I want to start something here to the 13th column and another keyword parameter is sysuid okay so notify is the another keyword parameter so where it will root the, it will show you the diagnostic messages I mean it will notify the user about this job once you submit this job it will show you the messages and ap uh, apart from this you have another parameters like priority uh, can be easy it, it will range from 0 to 15 so I'm giving it as a uh, priority as 10 so what does priority means like uh, we, you might be having a uh, different jobs with the same classes there are ten, assuming like there are 10 jobs with class A and uh, one of the job may have to be submitted with high priority and it has to run first instead of uh, some job one or two get submitted so jobs of I wanted to get it executed first because it has to be run and it utilizing more CPU time and uh, so there will be certain factors that uh, priority depends on so based on that we give the priority and that the JCL gets submitted based on the priority and it gives the highest authority to get it submitted so these are the different uh, kinds of uh, parameters that we use in a job card so first is uh, the identifier or null character which is start with two forward slashes then a job name then we have positional parameters and keyword parameters and in positional parameters first one is a, a job accounting information and the programmer name or a job description then we have uh, positional parameters like class message class message level notify and priority Okay.